so this video is all about ground plane so in this video i will show you how you can just draw your ground plane and after that i will discuss you why you why you need ground plane in your pcb design so first of all just let's uh, learn how to how you can draw your ground plane so if you want to draw your ground plane you have to select a particular tool that is the polygon tool just first select the polygon tool so after selecting the polygon tool you will see there are few options on the setting menu of the polygon toolbar and the first one is the uh, width and second one is the isolation and the third one is the uh, oil band these three parameters are most important for just uh, drawing your ground plane so just consider our width and isolation normally i select the isolation same as my oil ir width so for my design i've decided to select um, the 12 mil for my oil width that's why i have selected the isolation same as my oil width and and with and with is this is also important so i think uh, you can keep um, width and isolation same as me and so let's uh, start drawing the ground plane so you have to start from a corner if you want to uh, just uh, make a ground plane for the whole of your pcb you have to start from a corner so let's start from this corner and just start drawing so you see that now you have the uh, bending for the 90 degree bending is the 90 degree but if you change this from here you can change your bending option but i prefer 90 degree because my board is also a rectangular shape that's why 90 degree is good for drawing a ground plane okay so i will just uh, int drawing from here and i will just change my direction from the this edge after that and the, after while, while you just connect or your just first point and the last point to your ground plane you have to be much careful so you can see that i'm just uh, connecting the first point and last point of my ground plane edges is is just you can see that you have to start in that point where you have started okay and after that you just click on it and you will see that the window will pop up will ask you the signal name so as this is for the ground plane we will just name after this as gnd and after that just click on ok and now you will see that there are dotted line if, if appeared on your board and if you see the dotted line that means your ground plane is almost successful but there is nothing popped up in your as your ground plane because you have to press the rest nest i have told you pre previously that you have to press the rest nest and this is what this is works as the same as uh, this or the same as just like the refresh button on your computer and you press the rest nest you will see the ground plane see and the most important part is you will see all those ground connections that you have routed before are now connected with the ground plane see this is the ground plane of this um, uh, capacitor and this is the ground plane of this regulator and you will also see the ground plane of the microcontroller also connected to the ground plane so this is the advantage of ground plane so in so if uh, so now i will see what is the main reason for ground plane because think about that while you are just drawing your uh, traces and so normally when we design a pcb we, you have to select the low resistance or low impedance path for the ground plane okay otherwise the ground plane will drop the voltage as we know that but while we just um, just making a whole your whole of your pcb as a ground plane you don't have to think about that which you have to trace your uh, ground line and if you have a put your ground plane down plane will select the lower impedance path for just carrying your signal or power signal or just normal digital signal or analog signal that's why you have to place your ground plane uh, while you de start designing your pcb the first thing you have to do is to just place a ground plane and there are another advantage of place uh, just placing your ground plane another advantage heat dissipation think about that all of your components might just generate uh, amount of heat that might be significant or insignificant but think about that ground plane means you have a um, just you have a big area big surface area or bigger surface area of the copper wire that means all of your components are also connected to the ground plane that means they will have the um, bigger area for just dissipating heat and this is the other advantage of ground plane okay so i think if you miss any points just put put your comment in the comment box and just don't forget to like and subscribe Okay, thank you.